name is James Clem. When we're getting ready to place our restorations, that's called the cementation process, there's two primary approaches I use, and it's based on enamel in the cervical zone. If I have enamel in the cervical zone, I'm gonna use an adhesive system, but prior to using the adhesive system, I'll do selective etch of phosphoric etch on that enamel rim. And then I'll use a bonding agent to make it work. I wanna use a resin to cement those in, primarily for strength and to avoid micro leakage. Now, if I'm subgingival and on dentin, where I don't have any enamel, I'm gonna use a glass ionomer. Now in that case, I have a more robust margin. As I mentioned earlier in this series is that when I'm subgingival or on dentin, I have more of a shoulder type of prep. In that case, I'm gonna use glass ionomer to cement these in with, and that's mainly to avoid, you know, decay down the line on the root. It does help in that area. So let's go ahead and get started with the cementation process. I will then be called for the bonding process if this has been delegated to one of my great team members. I'll use the Isolite plus the Optra gate. This provides excellent isolation and I'll process my tooth accordingly. I wanna make sure there's no fluid flow from the sulcus, and then I'll use a primer or some type of conditioner like Telio Bond or Gluma. And in this case, I'm using a primer, a very thin primer. I'll then cure that. I wanna make sure it's no thicker than 10 microns. If I'm subgingival, I'm gonna use a glass ionomer. That's Fuji Plus. If I'm on enamel, I use a resin. So subgingival, on dentin, on the margin, I like the glass ionomer. After a minute and a half, I'll clean it up like zinc phosphate without the glass slab. It's really easy cleanup. It's very proficient. The final restorations, we did both the upper right and left first molars. We replaced those with Emacs. You can see there's a slightly different style of occlusal finishing done by two different assistants. They both look excellent. However, the important thing is making sure the margins look good. And there's the upper right first molar before and after. The final restoration is Emacs B1. Glass ionomers are cement. You can see the margins are so clean. And our spacer can be controlled extremely well. The second premolar is a lab restoration accomplished back in 1997. In fact, all the anterior teeth to the second premolars were accomplished with Empress. I did that case back in 1997. Ceramics can last a long time. With Emacs, we know they're going to last a lot longer. The Ceric Liftoff Live here is a section that I like to apply the practical steps that I use in a clinical theater. More detail is applied to these very steps. For instance, chapter two is about preparation. So welcome to Ceric Live in a clinical theater. We will be posting more cases as we find them interesting for you here. It's more of a streamlined approach to get the job done and make it very predictable and also very satisfying for us. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.